Thank you, Phyllis. Thank you to the NAACP for sponsoring this. And to all of you here, uh, Brockton could not have been better to my family or to me. My great-grandmother was the first woman elected to office in 1881, and I have hopefully continued the progress in public service. Okay. So you have... You have the right to know a couple of things when you consider a candidate. What is their philosophy and what is their agenda? And I'm going to mention a couple of things quickly that are important to me. The first one is integrity. All of you here and every resident in this city has the right to expect that we will approach every issue and every vote we take with integrity. Is it right for Brockton? Is it right for all our residents, whether you've been here a day, a week, a year, or decades? Number two, you have a right to expect that when we cast our vote and we make a decision on a policy, we have done so after carefully researching and analyzing all of the relevant facts and then deciding, again, is it right for Brockton and is it right for the residents? Because if it isn't, then you shouldn't support it. Councilors are not a rubber stamp. We're not in a ceremonial position. We should work at what we do because the challenges in this city demand that. The, the, other, thing, the other thing that's important is you need to know my agenda. And I have several points that I think are absolutely important for every candidate. Open, honest government. Everyone deserves equal access to information, programs, services, safe neighborhoods, city jobs. No excuses, end of discussion, period. Equal access and equal opportunity. Number two, we need comprehensive neighborhood uh, crime programs. I'm not satisfied with just one officer assigned citywide. He can't possibly do that job. We've got to go back to neighborhood crime watch. Number three, absolutely economic development. Economic development, very important, but every project, particularly if you're going to do housing, you have to evaluate what will the impact be on schools. We certainly don't, don't want to put 300 apartments in an area that might require busing of children from that area to another school because the school is already overcrowded. And the last thing I would say is, for God's sakes, let's reconstruct our streets. I mean, we have streets in this city that haven't been touched in 40 and 50 years. People don't even want to drive their cars down the streets because they're afraid of the damage that might occur. Let's have a comprehensive program to go throughout the whole city, identify the streets, and then have some idea of when we can get that work done. So I humbly ask your support for another term. I've been the mayor. I've been on the school committee for 10 years. Now I've been on the city council. I enjoy the work, and I, again, humbly ask for your support.